Hello, welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's episode, we're continuing our discussion around rose mounts DP level transmitters. In the last episode, we introduced the concept of wet legs and dry legs and discussed the maintenance challenges that plague those systems. Today, we're gonna to discuss an improvement in those systems, which are called diaphragm seals and capillaries, which really solve some of the challenges that we talked through. So to refresh your memory, if we look at a wet leg um, or really a dry leg, they're very similar uh, in the sense that we have a DP transmitter physically connected back to the vessel. And we have this done by something called impulse piping. And it allows product to transfer to that DP transmitter. Now in a wet leg, we typically use these in uh, systems that have high ability to condense, so maybe a steam system. And what we try to do is we try to keep that impulse piping full of product. That way there is a known and consistent impact from having condensate in those lines, right? So they're equal and opposite, maybe they cancel each other out, or maybe there's some sort of impact that we can calculate and magnify. The challenge is keeping product in that impulse pipe, and it tends to evaporate out. So what if there is a way we could seal that product in that impulse piping and that seal could flex back and forth so it could sense the pressure as it changes. And that's exactly what the diaphragm seal capillary is. We cap that impulse piping so product cannot escape. Uh, and then that cap actually has an ability to flex back and forth so that we can sense the pressure. Okay, so if we expand this a little bit more, it'll make things a little bit easier to understand. We now have what's called a seal, and that caps it from the process. And just like our transmitter diaphragm, it can flex back and forth. Now, but as it flex back and forth, pressure is applied to what's behind it, which is now instead of impulse piping, we call it a capillary. This capillary is filled with now, instead of product, a fill fluid. Most commonly we use silicone 200, but there's a whole host of options for you. And as pressure is applied to that seal, it then in turn applies pressure to that fill fluid, which then in turn applies pressure to that transmitter's diaphragm. So now your DP transmitter can be completely isolated from your process, so it doesn't have to come in contact with whatever corrosive materials you have in there, but it can still sense that pressure. And this is a big, big advantage. So first of all, now that we have a seal, it actually makes things a lot easier in terms of being able to connect to the vessel. We can use typically most commonly use a flange, but we have a whole host of options available. It also allows us to work in more harsh conditions because we don't have to worry necessarily about that transmitter being able to be compatible, or we don't have to worry about those impulse pipings clogging up. We just have to worry about that seal. Is that seal compatible? Great. Another piece is it allows us to extend our measurement range. So we have a variety of options available now because of these capillary and diaphragm seal systems to extend temperature ranges by using, for instance, multiple fill fluids. Now, like I said, we have a ton of options available from different process connections, different mounting styles, and a variety of fill fluids. So depending on your application, we have a solution for you. Uh, but don't let this slide overwhelm you. Work with Lakeside and we can pick the most appropriate solution for your application. Should you have any questions about our DP level transmitters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.